Hey guys, Dr. Fluffy Bands here from Doctors of Doom. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been many, many months, um, but you know, it's just life for you, and this channel's gone through a few periods of prolonged time without anything being posted, but I think that's just um, more the fact that I think this channel is just a way for me to have some fun and not necessarily uh, be consistent, <laughs> which is uh, take it as good or bad, but. I think there will be a slower of videos coming uh, as I've been getting into this game, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, a lot lately. Um, if you don't know what it is, that's okay. If you do know what it is, I'm not surprised. Um, it's kind of a roguelike dungeon explorer. Now, I do have my main file here, which I've got um, lots and lots done on. However, I am going to be starting a new file completely blank, nothing's been done, and uh, just kind of do a run through the game. I may do a few of these runs. Now, as you can see, I've only got one character unlocked, Isaac. Um, the story of this game is Isaac's mother, after watching a bunch of Christian broadcasts, is uh, basically trying to purge the sin from Isaac's life, and um, she's getting quite scary. Uh, I, she's going to kill him, I think, in fact, and Isaac escapes to the basement. So, that's kind of where the game picks up, uh, and you play as Isaac, shooting your sad, sad tears um, into enemies. Oh, excuse me, as I turn down my iPad so that ding doesn't keep happening. Alright, my apologies. Now, as you can see, we've got some information on our screen here. The top left is our health. It's probably pretty obvious for anyone who's played uh, any games like Zelda or, or things like that. Um, uh, we've got coins, which are pennies we can pick up, uh, and then we've got bombs and keys, which we need for various things. Um, and basically the uh, idea behind every floor is you get your item like we are getting here. We got our Ouija board, which gives us tears which can shoot through um, rocks and through poop and things like that. Normally, as you can see, we can shoot through this stuff. Normally our tears would uh, hit the rocks and stop, and that's uh, much better now, I guess. I mean, it's not the greatest pickup in the world. Generally, you're looking for damage up. So actually, that's okay. Anything that can really modify your tears in your favor is quite helpful. Also, we're up to seven cents now. Um, this is a special type of room, which I'm not going to utilize right now. There's some poop. Uh, poop, when you see it, you can shoot it, uh, as well as fire. Sometimes it has a chance of dropping uh, money, usually. Sometimes I think it can drop uh, like half hearts and things like that as well. I got lots of these guys in this room. I am just playing on normal difficulty. There's a hard difficulty in this game as well. Oh, there's also a tinted rock here, which I'll talk about in a second. Alright, wrap that up. Ooh, and we got a pill too. So first I'm going to... Oh, let's just take this pill. Okay, yeah, I can see forever. So that uh, lets us see where the secret rooms are when we're in a room that is adjacent to one of them. Also, there's golden poop in this room, which when we destroy will drop uh, a lot more money than normal poop would. Um, a lot of information coming that's going to sound kind of weird probably. Uh, that's just kind of the Binding of Isaac for you. Uh, so we can use Bomb to blow up this tinted rock. It dropped two spirit hearts. Spirit hearts is, uh, they're basically just health that is not permanent. Once it's gone, you can't replenish it. Uh, like our red hearts are classic, like, uh, Zelda red heart containers. You may take the damage, but if you can find the health somewhere else, you can refill them. That is not the case with our blue spirit hearts there, or soul hearts, whatever you want to call them. I don't see these guys too often on the first floor, actually. Also, I'm terrible for the amount of Isaac I've played. Uh, terminology, not my strong suit. Um, also, I should mention that there is a item room, which is a little uh, key on the room on the map there. Um, or sorry, the store. Which I don't actually have a key to access. Um, and normally I wouldn't want to go in there unless I've got 15 cents anyways, because uh, the best items uh, that's how much they cost, 15 cents. You can usually pick up keys or bombs or pills or whatever for 5 cents, but 
I'm not really interested. I mean, at this point in the game, it, if I had a couple keys, I might be worth going in there just to buy a bomb. It's like it have that utility, but I'm not too concerned at the moment. Uh, this is a classic uh, poop boss fight right here. A classic, obviously. Ah, ooh. Also, uh, when you pick up items, you change Isaac's appearance. Um, or whoever, whatever character you may be playing as. And this is a terrifying uh, tr transmortification that he's had here. Transmortification? Is that a word? I'm sure, I'm sure it applies here. Uh, we got some health drops, which we can't really pick up. And then a HP up, which is, I mean, it's okay. We're not going to complain about HP up. It's going to come in handy later. When we are making deals with our devil, which hopefully uh, I'll be able to show you on the next floor. By not taking any red heart damage, uh, generally we'll be able to unlock the chance to trade away some of our health for uh, different things with the devil. This game is quite dark um, in uh, many respects, and that kind of. it gets darker as you get deeper into it as well. Now, here's a situation where if we have a bomb, we can trade it for a key. I don't have a bomb either. And a penny dropped. So we're getting close to that 15 cent mark to utilize our shop. Also, again, I will uh, pop a key just to show. We've got an arcade room here, which... I don't actually know if using this machine you can um, trade hearts for, for pennies. But I'm not sure if it counts as taking red heart damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I've... Uh, beat the boss of this level and then come back here and get some money. Um, what I will do is play this a couple times in hopes of getting a key or a bomb because the bomb is just about as good as a key for us right now. Really? It's not paying it? Uh, what do we get? We got speed down. So uh, pills are... Oh wow, that's... Okay, we got a dollar. That's crazy. And I unlocked cane. Wow, that's uh, very lucky. Um, you unlock characters in different ways. Kane is unlocked, I believe, by having 55 cents or more at any given time. Um, we may be able to unlock, uh, Magdalene, I believe, uh, by having, uh, seven, I think having seven red heart containers unlocks her, and we are on the way. Um, now I'm just, I don't want to play this all day here. Um, however, I do want... I do want to get a key out of it. You can't actually, I believe it's random as to where the, uh, or it's not random as to which skull you should hit, but it's basically, I think, determined no matter what, if you're going to win or lose, depending on your luck. Anyways, I'm not going to keep playing this. Um, I will come back and play it if I need a key, but I'm hoping a key just drops in one of these rooms so I don't have to worry about that. Because um, on the first level, your item room, which we got our spectral tears from here, uh, it, it's free. It's it's already open. Um, on, on all future levels, it is locked and requires a key. This room is the bane of my existence. I hate this room. All right, spikes everywhere. Ah, it's not too. What am I doing? I don't have a key. All right, I gotta keep going this way though. I'll follow this spiky block. We got some jumpers. Not so bad. The enemies scale, um, depending on what floor you're on. But generally so does your damage, uh, and your speed and your health and whatnot. So it's, 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 it's pretty fair. Oh, I tried to get out of the way there to the left, but he farted and pushed me back to the right. Would you drop a key in this room, please? That's a bomb. <sighs> Alright, well, I've actually taken a full heart of damage on this uh, floor, so I'm just hoping that I haven't messed up my chances for a deal with the devil here. Because they're extremely important in the long run of the game. If you don't get those early deals with the devil, you're kind of in trouble. I mean, it doesn't make things impossible for you, but it's certainly much easier to have the option to trade away your hard-earned health for some damage. So we're fighting Monstro here. He's got a very... A simple attack to avoid. As you can see, he's kind of splurts out some bloody mucus. Ooh, crap. I say it's easy to avoid, and then of course I run directly into it. 
I don't think it's gonna really matter. I think as long as we didn't take any red heart damage, which we didn't, we're gonna get our uh, Devil Room, which we did, and we unlocked Monsters 2, I believe. And there's a damage up right there, which is great. Uh, if you hit uh, escape, you can see what some of your stats are and also what you've collected. You can also see what the seed is for the run, which is our uh, CQ6Q2J40 um, up there. Which if anyone else were to go into their game of Rebirth and punch that in, uh, they could uh, play the exact same run with all the same items, what have you. Now, we are going to do a couple things here. We're going to pick up this. We're going to trade two hearts for Lord of the Pit. That basically gives us the ability to fly. Um, and also gave us a... Does it give us anything else? You know, I'm not sure. Um, however, we do want this. This is the Book of Belial. I think as long as we're holding this, if we beat a room, we actually do have access to the deal with the devil, regardless of if we've taken any red heart damage, which is awesome. Um, and also, if I... It's a spacebar item, so if I use uh, use it, I get... Oh, I can go in here now, too, and avoid all the spikes. I can um, get a massive damage increase. So I'm going to go back, unfortunately, because actually what I'm going to do is try and look for my secret room, maybe. Which I'm going to wager is up here, actually. Come on. Yes. All right, so we have three bombs in our secret room. Uh, learning, figuring out where the secret room Oh, and there's also a tinted rock in here, which I almost didn't see. Just kind of noticed it as I was leaving. And there we go, we got our key. Perfect. So now I'm not gonna, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to the shop first. And since I have so many bombs, I can just bomb my way into the shop. I'd rather trade a bomb than a key to get into the shop right now. Because I'm adjacent to it, I can just get inside. Um, all right. There's a donation machine in our shop, which I am going to basically try and put as much money as I have into it because I'm in a really good situation to do so. As you can see, the more you put into the machine, the more you unlock, and the increments to unlocking things gets higher. So the first one I think is 10, and then, well, I guess another 10. Uh, and then there's unlocks, and eventually, yeah, eventually you will uh, kind of use it as much as it will let you for a run. So that's it for this run that we can use. Um, we're gonna pick up mom's key. Uh, it'll give us, does it give us two keys? Oh no, that's the latch key. Um, we get, I think we get double the keys. Anytime a key would drop, we get two keys. I'm also going to pick up uh, this extra spirit heart and this bomb. Now that we're a bit low on health, it's good to kind of be careful with your spirit hearts and pick them up when you can. And which one is this? Oh, Capricorn, all stats up. This is really good. So as you can see, our stats are rising, our damage is going up, our rate of fire, our speed. This is good stuff. And now we can fly. I mean... And we've got the Book of Blile. Being on the basement part two, I'd say that we're in extremely good shape. We've got lots of money. Now we've got keys and bombs to, to use whenever we need them. And uh, yeah, forgive me if the commentary is a bit sloppy at the moment. I have been out of practice though. All right, not a problem getting rid of that guy. And our ultimate goal at the moment, because this is a fresh run, is just to uh, get to the end of the sixth floor and to kill Mom. Which sounds absolutely horrible, I know. Um, the room up there at the top was a uh, curse room, which you have to spend life getting in and out of. Now, because I am flying, I won't take I wouldn't take any damage going into it, but I would take half a heart coming out. So what I, what I generally do is wait until I've finished the floor completely, including the boss fight, uh, before I go into there, but I'm not too worried at the moment, so I'm just gonna... What did we get? So hopefully this is a good pill, because we did get two of them. Watch her range up. There we go. Let's see what's down here. I could just float on top of these gaps and not even worry about getting hit by anything. And I'm also going to try to our left here to see if that's where the secret room is. I had a feeling. We got a, we got a chest and we got a speed down pill. We already know, um, we've already taken that pill so it tells us what it is now. Um, and we know we don't want to take this one. Um, the colored 
enemy here is a champion version of these other ones. It's a bit bigger. It's got super special color. If I weren't flying and I stepped on this creep behind it, I would be taking damage. Um, I believe the champion enemies also do another speed downgrade. Also do double damage. They do full heart of damage. Rotten Baby, I love this guy. Uh, on a, every once in a while, he will let out a little fly that will kamikaze itself into your enemies, doing a decent amount of damage. Um, we're doing pretty well in our shops, I gotta say. Uh, we got the Steam Sale, which makes everything 50% uh, off in all of our future shops for the rest of the run, which is pretty great. Because I've got flying, I can get to that black heart. Um, the, those orange fires will actually shoot back at you if you're not uh, paying attention. You could get hit by that. Also, the oh, that was close. The black hearts uh, act just like the spirit hearts. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Um, however, they do do uh, room damage to everything in the room when they. Uh, go. So if I were to take one more hit, everything in this room would probably just die immediately. Which is kind of handy. Black hearts are great like that. Here we have a little challenge room. Uh, golden chest require a key. I got Isaac's fork. I think what Isaac's fork does is it's a trinket, so it takes up the trinket spot in the bottom left, first off. Um, trinkets have various effects. You can kind of pick them up and let them go as the run goes on. Items you're kind of stuck with once you pick them up. Uh, Spacebar items you can also pick up and let go uh, as the run goes on. I think what Isaac's fork does is I have a chance to gain some health when I kill an enemy. For the amount of Isaac I've played, I should know. We're gonna see what this pill is. Puberty. It doesn't have. I believe it's a neutral pill. It doesn't have any negative effects uh, or positive effects. As you can see, I have sprouted some hairs. Um, as a result of maturing into puberty. Pardon me as I drink some of my delicious hot chocolate. Oh man, it's so good. Candy cane hot chocolate. Tis the season, you know? For candy cane. Not really. Uh, here we're fighting Gertie. Gertie, uh, when I was first started playing the Bonnie of Isaac, this boss was like a fucking nightmare, but uh, now it's fine. And as you can see, that guy's spurting out flies like crazy. Also, since I'm flying, whenever he does this attack, uh, because his bullets don't go over stones and stuff, uh, they will in fact just hit the rock and I'll be fine. There's our deal with the devil as I was expecting. We got mom's heals from the boss fight, which is a range up. And I believe that that is fear shot, which gives me a chance of shooting a tear, which when it hits the enemy will send them running away in fear. I don't, it's not bad. You know what, for the sake of showing things, oh, also I unlocked Azazel as a result. Oh, it looks like every shot is a fear shot, I suppose. All right, this level is fully explored. We're gonna go down. And continue. Now I believe we're on the depths. Oh no, we're still on uh, the caves part two. Alright. Some spiders. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Just some spiders. We got another key. Don't know why any of our special rooms are yet. I'm sure it won't take us long to figure out where they are. Another key. Wow. So now the game is giving us keys. Oh crap. Well, I mean, there you go. As you can see, our black heart extinguished that last enemy for us. This is kind of like a mini boss here. As you can see, he's got his very own health bar, but this is not the boss fight. I am gonna spend a little bit of time. I don't actually know. I don't know why I would bother really spending any time except for anal retentiveness. Um, I don't really need the money from any poop. Uh, I will. No. I don't know. What's this? I think when you are down to half a heart, uh, a little f like this guy, what, what's he called? I forget. There's a name for these little guys that follow you around. Uh, orbital, not orbitals, but something to that effect. I believe when you're down to half a heart, the umbilical cord will uh, spawn an additional one to kind of help you until you gain more health. But I don't see myself 
uh, going down to half a heart, at least not anytime soon. Hopefully. Um, I expect to I expect to win this run, you know, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, this is a HP up. Our stem cells. Even more reason not to take the umbilical cord, really. I mean, I'd prefer Trinket better than Isaac's fork anyways, because I don't really need the health regeneration. Assuming I know what it does. Maybe what I'll do is I will uh, post the... Or just put a little edit onto the video when I pick up items that displays what they do. I'll look it up. I mean, that would certainly help me f learn and remember. Oh, don't hit me, please. What they do. I actually don't think I even used my Book of Belial on the last boss fight I had there, which is generally what I save it for. You're probably thinking I'm stupid. It charges every three rooms, so I can use it every three rooms if I wanted to. Um, uh, this is a pickup which every six rooms, I believe, I can spawn a new pill to eat, which uh, is great if you've got uh, the PhD, which uh, makes your, as you can see, these guys, by the way, are all kind of, generally they chase you down a bit more, but they were kind of running away there thanks to my fear shot, which I guess was helpful. These guys I, I don't like. They shoot these weird kind of angles sometimes and they catch me off guard. Alright, so I am going to... I guess I'll just fight the boss right now since I'm here. Oh, I don't know how that didn't hit me. I did pop the Book of Belial there, and if I were to check the damage, you'd probably see that it's a lot higher. Okay. Chubb likes to kind of charge you and spawn these little guys who also charge you. Little bastards. Little Chubby has appeared in the basement. We've got toothpicks. Tears plus shot speed up. That's I like toothpicks. That's good. Um, <clears throat> and now we've got a couple other things. So this is a damage up. The mark. We've unlocked Lazarus. All right. And this is uh, nine lives, which will reduce us to one red heart, which we actually have anyways. This will actually give us a health since we are spending our last red heart to pick it up. Um, and it gives us nine respawns should we die. So that was another really good deal with the devil for us. Um, I will, for the sake of uh, completion, finish exploring this floor before we move on. Because you never know when there's just an item hiding in a room that you could have missed. Like, for example, there's a, there's a cursed room right here. So let's see what we got. Look at that. Two black hearts. And some fire. Fire is less impressive, but you know. You never know. Could drop a dime. And we have an arcade here, which is gonna have nothing. Well, you know what? I'm gonna play this uh, little. whatever you wanna call him. He takes a penny at a time and then has a chance of paying something out. Sometimes he gives you. or his ultimate payout, I think, is right there. Uh, HP up. Um, this works just by you run into it. It takes away uh, red hearts and gives you money, which is just so fantastic. Uh, this guy does the same- actually I should have been doing it with this guy, probably. Um, he takes the same thing, but he pays out with different items. There's some health right there. Let's just blow these guys up. Everyone drops- everything drops stuff when you destroy it, generally, so. I like to do that. Also, I could check for a secret room. Uh, it's not gonna be up or down from there. Gonna be either this room or down here. It's up. Okay, it is up here. We got a couple bombs. We're gonna blow up these mushrooms because the mushrooms tend to have pills and cards in them. I do believe. All right, so we got lots of different stuff. Luck down. That's not great. Balls of steel is awesome. It gives us two uh, spirit hearts. Uh, I can see forever. I will use on the next floor probably. Puberty. And what else do we got? I found pills. That one turns you uh, retarded a little bit. A little bit retarded. No big deal. Again, kind of a neutral pill. It doesn't have any real negative effects. Um, and I mean, I don't really need to pick that up probably, but since it's there, I might as well. As you can see, we're doing very well for health. Um, and our damage is, 
is good too. We're having a good little first run here. And this run will be shorter than uh, most uh, that you would probably see, uh, just because the game, as you play it, gets longer. What was this again? Oh, that was the I found. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Laser barraged. I'm gonna pop that I can see forever pill. Uh, basically, if I'm in a room adjacent to a secret room, it will let me know for the rest of this floor. Alright, so the two... was that two waves or three? I thought those usually had three waves. Also, it looks like I have some... oh no, it's just because I thought I had some uh, some pushback there, but I guess it's just when they're afraid they're running away. Uh, the moon card will actually teleport me to the secret room, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our curse room here and push that bomb in. Get this chest, which has puberty and balls of steel, and then I'm going to teleport to our uh, secret room, therefore avoiding the half heart of damage we would have taken leaving the curse room. Pretty smart, right? Um, I'm going to go back to the left here. Finish exploring the rooms on this side of the map. Nothing, nothing from that room really, alright. Got a bomb. I think we're pretty much set for consumables uh, for the rest of this run. <laughs> since we are on the second last floor that we'll be seeing. These skulls you can also blow up and have a chance. I'll do it just since I've got bombs. Uh, sometimes I'll drop black hearts or cards or sometimes it will spawn an enemy. So there's that. Also I picked up a golden key which is like you know the boss key that you would get. Um, all doors that I unlock from now on do not uh, use up a key. And that includes uh, chests too, actually. Oh my goodness, my dodging is right off at the moment. I'm gonna stick a bomb down right in the middle of these skulls. And didn't really get anything out of that except for a hassle. Uh, was I already in that secret room? Right, I teleported to the secret room. Uh, I've got a slot machine we could play here since we can fly without having to use up a key. Actually, I can use up a key anyways, so it doesn't cost us one. Uh, that machine actually just paid out itself. It exploded and uh, gave us a few items. What do we got in here? We have the Bible. Now, what the Bible is, is when you... It's a spacebar item that when you use, it gives you flying for that room. And it actually comes with the bonus effect, I think, in Rebirth anyways of automatically winning the mom fight, which we will be doing soon. Um, however, we've got the Book of Bly, we already have decent damage, and I don't want to uh, make things too, too easy. And I want you to see the mom fight as well. Uh, this is money equals power, so basically I think every penny we have gives us a 0 .04 damage increase. And um, seeing as we've got 51 pennies at the moment, this is a great time to find that pickup. Let's get rid of these guys. Take the blue pill. Are you a wizard? Ah, oh, that makes me shoot diagonally. Kind of annoying. Um, I believe it only shoots diagonally for like a minute or so, maybe less. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make our lives too much more difficult. It's just kind of annoying. Especially fighting these guys. I have to be so precise in where I hit them because we can't hit them right in their skull faces. And the trick, I believe, is to kind of hit them in their face once, and then this is actually a bit better for us as a pickup. Um, it speeds up our shots quite a bit. Also, our super secret room is here, and it is full of pills. We got another luck down pill, and I can see forever pill. We'll use our balls of steel. The range up we'll use. And yeah, why not? Oh, there's a luck up pill in this as well. We'll take our I can see forever uh, pill down to the next floor to use again. Any tinted rocks in here? Not that I can see. So let's go ahead, and we are fighting Monstro 2 now, the big ugly brother of Monstro. And he's quite afraid of us, so I'm not too worried. I will use my Book of Belial, I'm not really sure why I wasn't doing that in the first place. I got these awesome dollar shades now. Alright, super easy. The belt, that's a speed upgrade. We've now got our 
full health. And we are going to trade away a heart for three spirit or for three dark hearts, basically. Sin hearts. Black hearts? I'm not exactly sure what they're called. They're probably sin hearts. Coco brick. Alright, so we're on the last floor. We made it. I'm gonna go ahead and just go right into here. Oh, we got Guppy's collar. Um if you pick up three guppy items, you actually become guppy, and every uh, tier that hits an enemy spawns a fly, which is crazy. Also, if you don't have the ability to fly, you gain it, which is pretty spectacular. I would love to become guppy. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I mean, it's kind of... I've run out of chances for it to happen. Um, what does guppy's collar do on its own? So. It gives you a an additional life. You can see it. We now have a times ten question mark at the top. Um, basically, the additional life is a 50/50 chance. When you die, you may or may not come back. Oh my goodness! I thought he was gonna jump on me, so I moved, and then I went right underneath him. I just lost three hearts there. My goodness, that was sloppy. I would love. It'd be it'd be crazy to become Guppy on the first run. That'd be pretty great. I mean, I'm already having a really good run, I think. I could have a little bit more damage, but all in all, I can't complain. Getting lots of health drops that I really can't use. Just shoot these squirts. Um, so when you hear that laughter, you know these uh, ha mom's hands are gonna be coming down. If they grab you, I don't think they actually do any damage, but they uh, pick you up and they drop you back at the uh, starting room. There is a tinted rock. The tinted rocks, I mean, they're not always a different color per se, but they do have little X's on them. So let's see what we got. We got a key, and we also blew up the skull, which gave us the hanged man, which gives us the ability to fly for a room, but again, we don't really need that, do we? We got our ability to fly, so really. We really, we really lucked out. Oh, I could hear him jumping at me. No, for crying out loud. Alright, we got a key. Let's move on up. I'm gonna try and find our item room soon. However, I did find the shop here, so let's see what we got. We have a uh, fight. The shop doesn't always uh, have a items in it. Sometimes you have to fight a mini-boss. However, th that will result in you making some money anyways, so it's not always a bad thing. These fires can be blowed up. Oh, they also shoot at you, apparently. Um, they can be blowed up, and sometimes they will drop spirit hearts. They did not for us that time. Uh, the pinky eye gives us a chance to fire a poison shot, as you can see there. I'm gonna hold on to that, I think. A poisonous fear shot. Our tears are really hurting thine enemy now. Yeah, this chest. Ooh, that chest really paid out for us, didn't it? That chest just gave us a bunch of additional damage, really. Um, I'm not gonna fight Mom right away. I am gonna find our item room first. I might as well finish exploring this floor. There's our item room. One more 0.04% damage. Uh, the BBF is a fly that will bounce around the room, and when it hits something, it will explode and deal damage to it. Uh, it could potentially deal damage to you as well, though, if you're not careful. Watch where you're standing. And oh, we actually have a uh, another room. I'm not sure what these are called either. They take two keys to get into, and there's a few different uh, things that could be on the other side of this door. Um, this is one I haven't actually seen before, which is kind of interesting. Well, we maxed it. I guess there's no reason to pick up the rest of those, but I will. Uh, we've already maxed out our donation machine for this run, unfortunately. However, we are now doing the most damage we can get out of our money equals power. Which I'm not going to complain about. And let's go ahead and fight some all. The mom will try and stomp on us, and then she will also spawn enemies from these four sides. Uh, 
When I first started playing The Binding of Isaac, it took me a long time. Oh, a little video here. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Yay, oh no. All right, so there we go. That was run number one, I unlocked the womb. So I basically, I've unlocked two additional floors now. I've un I unlocked all sorts of stuff. That was pretty great. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, be sure to leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. You know the drill. Uh, this is a small channel, and I'm sure it's mostly just friends and family who check this stuff out, which is uh, which is great. Um, and this is like all-time favorite game. I will be playing more of it. So if you enjoyed it, uh, keep an eye out for it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love ya. Later.